I don't care about having a legacy. I don't care about being remembered. It's the most important thing to me is like, while I'm here, while we're having fun, while we're going to sleep and uh, breathing oxygen and living life and falling in love and having pain and having joy, it's like, what can I do? What can I do with my voice? What can we do for each other to make life easier, make life doper for our kids, you know, as they grow? You know, we were born into a broken world and we're like the cleanup crew, you know. My mother made me believe in me. When I was growing up, I wanted to make video games. My mom got this Amiga computer when I was in seventh grade and it had 4,096 colors. I found myself running home to use this sound program that allowed me to place a note, it would stay, place another note, it would stay, place another note, it would stay, and that's how I learned how to produce in seventh grade. And I was just really making the music to make video games. They just let me dream. They supported me. They pushed me. They didn't set me up to be inside of a, a box. What's the main thing that makes magic magic? The fact that no one believes it's possible. When I entered the fashion world and I encountered a lot of elitism and all that, it just made me happy. It was something fun. We had the entire world against us. It was like absolutely no allies whatsoever. You know what I mean? It was like the world was against us. The pressure of that was like crazy. It was like a Super Bowl. I remember sitting there with my fashion publicist, Deborah, and we were supposed to do the Reese's. This is the thing where the editors after the show, they come back to see it and see if they like the collection. And we had like two or three people that came to see it and take a picture with Kanye and blah, 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 type of stuff. I say, do we have any more editors coming? And Deborah just looks and says, no, no one else is coming. And I looked at her and said, this is great. <laughs> Remember this moment, because it won't always be like this. Embrace this moment where no one came to see the collection. I take, you know, things that people look at as a negative, as an inspiration to do something better. I think there's school teachers that are the, the exact same mission as, as me. I think there's police officers with the exact same mission as me. Just help, just do everything you got, give everything you got. And you know, our focus needs to be less about what our legacy is gonna be or how we're gonna control each other, but more how can we can give to each other.